Hello, this is Marshall Zhukov, and here we are together again, and again and again on YouTube. Got the Toker I've taken apart here. Um, the numbers on it are also uh, matching here. The only thing I don't think I covered, uh, this is just marked with a 1-1 one, one on it, the last two numbers of the serial number that's on all the other parts, uh, the barrel slide and frame. I've got the Tetra Gun Grease going again with some oil. Uh, we can see a little bit right here already. Uh, always had good results and good luck with it, so um, we'll see how it does when we get it to the range, but it should function well. Um, I do have two magazines. The other uh, lighter colored one is the one that came with it, and this is, I'm assuming, an aftermarket uh, magazine of some kind. Uh, I guess it could be original Soviet from somewhere. I don't know, but um, it does have a finish on it. And we'll just have to see how they do uh, when I'm able to shoot with them. And hopefully there's no hiccups or anything like that while firing. Um, it's going to be nice and greased up and oiled up. So the functionality of it, I'm hoping should be good. If there's anything going on, I might try to find a uh, replacement mainspring. But that would probably be about it. Maybe just tighten it up a little bit more. I've had some good luck with some spring replacements in the past. Uh, so with the Luger that I had before. Tightened it right up, functioned just amazing with the new springs. I was pretty impressed actually. And that was, uh, was it the Wolf Gun Springs? Um, a kit from them for Lugers uh, way back whenever. I think I probably got a video somewhere on it. But, anyways, I'll be anxious to get out, try these out after the holiday, and see what they can do. So I'll get this put back together, and probably the next uh, video will be on Tuesday or Wednesday, and hopefully we'll have a little bit of uh, targets with some holes kind of thing going on. So we're now Marshall's Recobs signing out.